Hello beautiful people, it's your queen of random content, Marcus, and in today's video, I'm gonna read my NUS application essay. Something I've written years ago, and something I have not seen in a while. So it's gonna be fun to see what my younger self thought was inspiring and would best describe who I am as a person, and how I would be in university. So I know you guys will be like, But Marcus, aren't you an NTU? Why are you reading your NUS application essay? I thought it would be a fun idea to read my NUS application essay, and to give you guys the reasons why I didn't go to NUS. My friend is going to read her NUS application essay and she's going to tell you guys why she chose NUS over the other universities in Singapore to study business. I am studying English literature in NCU and the offer I got from NUS was a double degree in philosophy and English. The weird thing is like in NUS English means English language and like phonetics and syntax and that kind of thing and then they also have English literature but then for NTU English is English literature so yeah I kind of got confused that's also one of the reasons why I may have chosen the wrong course in my NUS application more on that later so stay tuned while I wait for my friend to get on this zoom call all right hello beautiful people welcome to the part of the video where I am not alone but I'm joined with my friend Dawn Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dawn, third year student in NUS studying business and majoring in finance. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, so, so honored. I'm honored to have you, girl. So obviously this is over Zoom because these are some trying times, but we are going to make the best of it. I feel like even like different courses and different universities have like different application processes. Mine's the NUS personal statement and Dawn's is the like general... Starting off with the course, right? Honestly, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after JC. So I was so done with the math. I was done with like science, like chemistry. Oh my Amen. god. I did so badly for <laughs> the <that>. same. <laughs> yeah, and bio. I, I can't bio. I can't like too much memorization. So I think business was like a good place to sort of explore your different options. It's very general. I mean it has pros and cons. Like general, it can be good if you don't know what you want to do, but like for certain niche areas like bio biomedical sciences and all that I, I don't think that's very good like, if you if you want a more niche uh, industry to go into so for me I didn't know so I think business had the good balance and I mean it allowed me to explore my different options that's the first see when you compare the school fees and yes it's like not too expensive like SMU, like, SMU oh that's true that's it, true it's, it's just a bit more expensive and I think for the location it was a good distance away from my house I live in the west uh, so but do you stay in hall or do you just like travel to and fro from home for me I stay in hall for the first three years I, I think because even though my house was like still not too far but it was still considered quite far and I think I wanted to explore how is the hall life like yeah and I think the activities in NUS was one of the main reasons I wanted to go like NUS has a lot of student life in a sense like uh, we had uh, a lot of orientation activities including like rec I'm not sure if you know what rec is but I mean it's this insane whole performance thing where we like stayed up many nights to just prepare for one performance okay. I remember you were texting me about it and yeah, I saw your post. It's, it's them insane. Yeah, but I guess it was fun. Uh, like getting to experience those. Yeah, I'm glad I made that decision in the end. Uh, for those of you who are keen on studying business and you're not sure about which university to go to, NTU's business course is different. It's only three years compared to NUS and SMU, which do like a four year yeah, program. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, honestly, like the number of years things wasn't really a, an issue for me because. I mean, to me, one year is not a lot because for me, I want, actually didn't know what I wanted to do. So I felt like having more time to decide was actually a better thing. Three years will make me feel quite stressed. Like I have to decide my career path in three years. And then if you want to like go out and start work as soon as possible, then maybe the three years will help. But I know a lot of my, of my friends who are in NTU and they ended up doing uh, four years instead because they took some time out of their studies to actually go do internship. Or oh, like, a, like a gap year. Yeah. yeah, like a gap semester, that kind of thing. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because like, I heard people from NTU, they, cause they're cramming for your business course into three years. So they mm. felt like it was quite stressful. Yeah, it sounds quite for stressful. For it to be three yeah. years. So yeah, it so really depends. Yeah, pros and cons. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I guess like if you have three years, then you sort of pay less. Huh? That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> But, so I guess you save money and you get to start work earlier. So. Yeah, save money, but at what cost? Your sanity. Yeah, yeah at too. what cost? It depends on what <laughs> what what you think is like the most important. 
So for me, I'm studying at NTU. I'm doing a degree in English literature. Why I chose NTU over NUS was because, I mean like, okay, location-wise, I live so near to NUS. It's not even funny. Like I have a direct bus to NUS. And I was like, why did you go to NUS? There are two reasons. Number one, I applied to the wrong course in NUS for for the laws and I got in. So they actually offered me a double degree in English and philosophy. And I feel like my thoughts are not that deep to do philosophy. I just applied because I was like, oh, it's a double degree. I'm probably not going to get it because I didn't do like super amazing amazing for my A-levels. Philosophy sounds so hard. I know. And then I got it. I was like, oh no. I would have it's to a write, sign. It was a sign. I would have to write an appeal letter to go for FESS. So um, another difference for NTU and NUS um, the arts is in NTU, you go straight into your major and it's like straight away honours degree. But then for NUS, you do one year of like general arts curriculum. Then from then you choose like what you want to major in. So that is good for people who are not sure what they really want to specialise in for the arts. So it gives them like a good chance to like, kind of explore different modules and courses before making a final decision. Whereas in NTU, it's like this is your major for the like next four years already yeah, so for me I knew I wanted to do literature I was like dead set that's why I chose NTU also you guys can check out like the modules that the universities are having on their website to kind of see like what's in the syllabus what interests you because for me I felt like like NTU had a lot more module offerings than NUS like we have stuff like I can't, I can't think of any yeah, right I, now I, I know, but I'll like, insert like in the I, I know what you mean I know what I mean like I'm, like sometimes my friend talk about like how they have you know art classes as UEs or like yeah, Sports. like yeah, and I'm like, wow, I was so envious. My friend, my friend yeah. literally took like batik painting. Yeah, it's also fun. And another fun. friend who did like uh ceramics. Yeah, for we a- don't. We don't have that in NUS. Like, you have to take legit modules. Ooh. Things that you have to actually to study for the exams. And I mean, like painting and stuff. <gasps> Yeah, my friend took a painting jealous. module also. Yeah. also uh, guys, uh, when you are considering university, look at the graduation requirements because mm-hmm. for NTU, it's like we take our core modules, then general education requirement where it's like we have to take like one compulsory business module and one compulsory language arts module and then two other like business slash science slash language arts modules for like then, yeah. And then the rest is unrestricted electives where you can basically pick anything. There's literally a module on singing. I'll be signing up for that real soon. Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's your to video yourself singing. Oh my god. I mean, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you're ready, man. <laughs> what What's your graduation criteria like? Like, what do you have to do to graduate? I think it's quite standard across unis, but mine was basically they have like the core modules, fulfill them in the first two years of your uni. Then after that, you have your specialization courses, third year, fourth year, where you try to clear all of them. And we also have UEs. If you want to take a second major, you also can. So that is like, see the website for more information for that. Oh yeah, for you guys who are like planning to do minors or second majors yeah. for your degrees, uh, for NTU, you need to get like a 4.0 GPA and above to do a second major. Yeah, so you guys can like check out like the requirements, like what you need to take, how many modules and stuff need to clear. I can't really explain it because I'm not the best in math. I took an <laughs> arts degree to make sure I don't have to do math anymore. So just go to the website and really look at all those numbers and the graduation requirements. Because I think yeah. people, not a lot of people, I think even I didn't really look at the graduation requirements when I was choosing the yeah. university. And I think like when you go into university, like as a first year, there's a lot of seniors that will help you. Then they'll pass you like their knowledge and like information. And I think that really helps. Lah. So it's okay if you don't know all the graduation requirements before you enter university. I think you can just like figure it along the way. Not to worry when you first okay. enter. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read my personal okay. statement. It's All right, very cringy. <laughs> Just do it. It, okay. it. it helped you get into like... This is uh, specifically for NUS. For NTU, I didn't have to do a personal statement uh, okay, okay. until... But then they did make me write an essay before my interview. Like they gave me a poem oh. I've never seen before and then I had 30 minutes to analyse it and write an essay. So this is the one that got you into both uh, philosophy and English, is it? Yeah, double degree oh program. So. Okay. But it's so Must weird because I applied for English, right? And then my whole essay is talking about literature. So like 2,000 characters personal statement where you describe your ambitions, skills and experiences to show the faculties and schools why you want to study the course and why you would make a great student. As a boy who never bothered to read until he was forced to, having to learn literature up me, I used to think literature was boring and meaningless. What made me first love literature was chick lit. While many find chick lit to be shallow, it is a genre I gravitate to. Cecilia Earn and Sophie Kinsella had me hooked on a world of happy endings and a series of two fortunate events. The moment I closed the book, however, I worried about being inadequate because I could not compete with the perfect man that young female minds were fed with. I realized that the things we read had the ability to shape the way we think. And this led me to want to explore the portrayal of women's ideals and to experience NUS's modules on feminism and women novelists. While studying literature, I aspired to spark conversations like the poets I looked up to. So I explored what it meant to create literature and started experimenting with poems. In secondary two, I was invited to compete in a poetry slam. 
At that time, I had never read my work to an audience before. Although my hands trembled with fear, I pushed on and filled the hall with my words and emotions. To my surprise, I was awarded second place, which was a rewarding honour. Since the poetry slam, my head was brimming with topics I wished I discussed during the competition and jotted down the words I found for them. As I communicated my ideas through this new medium, my desire to share what I felt intensified. Pushing aside any fears or self-doubt I had as an arguably inexperienced 14-year-old, I chose to champion the dauntlessness I believed in and published my first collection of poetry. Therefore, I continued to hone my skills in poetry and was even brave enough to combine them with my love of music by writing and producing my own songs. One step at a time, I'm slowly gaining confidence to venture out into uncharted waters, which is how I know I will thrive in a community of equally bold individuals. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. One tip it. for you guys writing the essays is like to really give a specific thing you want to do in university because they want to know like what kind of person you're going to be in university. So I said like the women and feminist novelists like module in NUS because I saw that they had that. Uh, like okay, okay, be very okay. specific because it's like you could write this personal statement to like any university but it's like they want to know like why NUS yeah I think being specific is quite important like I'm pretty sure they know like students will sort of like copy and paste all this personal statement so I think they want to see that yeah, you are different I think yours was quite interesting thanks that, yeah I think I think yours was was like it showed very di- like different aspects of you one that is more academic one that is artistic I think that was pretty good I think mine was like just lame stuff <laughs> I don't. I can't remember. It's okay. It got you. got you to where you are. So like, Damn, it served yeah. its purpose. Okay. Too. No, it's so weird because like in America, they're so focused on yeah. like the application essay is such a big thing. Like here, I think no one really thinks so much about the application essay because it's very like grades focused. Yeah, they look a lot at grades. I don't know. I don't even know if I would have done well if I were to write a personal statement. No, I know I wouldn't have done well because I applied to Yale and US. And I didn't even get called back for an interview. Because yeah, for them, it, <laughs> thanks. But it's like the application process is so focused on like who you are as a person because they will give you, they have a short answer thing. Like, if you could bring one thing to campus that best describes you, what would that thing be? Oh. Right? Like, oh, it makes it's you. It's like think there's of, no right answer, right? Yeah. They just want to know like who you are. You have to write two essays. About what? I think they'll give you like topics, like things like life changing events, or, like a conversation you had that made you change your beliefs or something like that. Wow. They just want you to really like call never... yourself into same. I'm not that great at like writing. Yeah, I'm also not very good at writing. Like if you want me to like talk deep and stuff, I can't. Wow. But it's okay, you're enjoying where you are now. Yeah, so, I'm I mean, loving it's it. A, yeah, there's no right right path, la, I guess what you do in that path, right? <laughs> Any tips to the people yeah, who are was, choosing which universities to go to and which course to go to? I mean, there's a lot of factors that really comes into play when you're deciding. But for me, I really just went with my gut, you know. I think it's very good to see your seniors in their schools and what they're doing. I based that off to on my decision as well. I looked at where my seniors went and what they're doing, how is campus life for them. And I sort of decided that based on what I wanted for myself. So when I saw like people having a lot of fun in NUS, doing all these activities that I wanted to do as well, then I decided that I wanted to try that and just went with it, you know. I mean, all the universities in Singapore are pretty good. I mean, there's That's no true. wrong... That's true. You can't really universe. make a bad choice. choice. So I think just go with your gut and just make the best out of it. I asked the literature department in NJ and they all like responded. <laughs> I think my teacher gave me a long list of like compilations of like why each teacher went to the university of their choice oh, for literature. God. And I was like, That's so nice because I was that's like so, yeah that's so and nice and you are NTU but honestly to this day I think people still like look down on NTU like if you go to NTU you're considered like not as smart as going to NUS because NUS is like the Singapore word yeah but it's there. all around the same nowadays yeah it's uh, honestly the same it's yeah just, I really yeah just focus yeah. on getting good results first <laughs> make sure you study hard I mean it's good to have goals yeah, study I think hard yeah. literally during A-levels I had my laptop background was university campuses I was Damn. like you gotta wait whenever you look at your laptop Damn. gotta oh manifest God. self-motivation <laughs> yeah it's definitely Definitely good to have options because I'm sure many of you don't have a clear direction of where you want to go yet. So I think getting good results first is like more important in a sense that you get to have the options that you can after which decide upon later. Yeah, because to be honest, I feel like like NUS and NTU they are very academically focused. So yeah, like your yeah, grades yeah. speak more than your personal statement. You gotta play the game, man. Yeah, I mean that's like in the Singapore context. Thank you, Don, for joining me. You're and welcome. Thank you. thank you for having me. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching this video. And that is it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I 
<laughs> do you, yeah. I post really <laughs> random content, so like yeah. subscribe. You don't know what you're subscribe gonna get. Subscribe, everybody. Yes. It's gonna be good. I hope this video kind of gave you guys some insight of how to write your personal statements and some tips for choosing NUS versus NTU or SMU. Yeah, but I mean, both of us are from NTU and NUS, so we're just giving you that perspective on things. Maybe I'll talk to some friends from other universities and give you guys like an idea of how it's like in those universities. But for now, I will see y'all in another video. Bye. All right. Bye.